Hi everybody, this is Orsina Amsler at uh, Maskinomic Middle School in Boxford, Massachusetts. And in this video, I am going to explain how I manage the classroom when doing a printmaking project with middle schoolers. So we are printing. As you can see, the drying rack is really full and the day is not even done yet. Um, printmaking is very messy, it can be quite chaotic. Uh, and I do have some methods that help it to, to go smoother when you're dealing with a large class of middle schoolers. So the project that we are currently working on, um, this is a finished example. It is a mixed media printmaking project. And to begin with, um, all the students have a simple project folder, um, basically just a folded piece of paper. And the first part of this project was we were working with oil pastels on um, colored paper and in either a cool or warm color scheme and then we tore those patterned papers up and reattached them and kind of just made some interesting things upon which to print. The printing is done with a shaped styrofoam printing plate. Uh, this is scratch foam brand material, very cheap, easy to use printing material and um, as you can see we got leaves, we have flowers, so this is what the students have been doing. Um, and then the printing itself, as you can see, is using that styrofoam printing plate on those collaged papers. And ultimately students have a choice of which of their finished prints to mount together, either in an arrangement of four like this, or maybe three in a row. So that is what we are doing right now. Okay, let's take a look at how I set up my tables. So I have uh, six tables in my classroom at which students work. And each table is set up uh, with two printing stations. Um, we have an inking tray and two brayers um, and another inking tray and two brayers. I have some laminated instructions which don't get looked at too much after we've done this for a day or so, but they're here if you need them. And also very important, is a stack of cover sheets. Now, I sort of scour the recycling bins at my school and uh, collect old rejected copies uh, for this purpose. You'll see shortly how useful they are. So start collecting old copies if you plan on doing some printing. And then over here on the center table is where I have my ink tubes kind of organized by color extra cover sheets if our table needs them, and our aprons are down there, handy dandy, for those students who don't want to get messy. So the way I organize my room is that each table can only have two colors per day. So in this case, these students have agreed upon using red today. You can only use one color per day because it just takes too much time to wash and dry the printing plate. So this white print was done on a different day, and now today John is just using red. We ink the plate. Let's try it. Good. All right. We put it on there. Now, here's where we use the cover sheet. We use the clean cover sheet to cover the printing plate. Go ahead, John. And that prevents uh, any stray ink from getting in places where we don't want. And we use the second brayer to apply the pressure. So we just put some nice firm pressure on the back. I got my dancing We could, like, and then when we carefully remove the printing plate, we see a nice layered red print over our white print from the previous day. All right, run that to the drying rack. Each print goes in the drying rack right away. And we keep our other prints that we're working on on our stool so that they are out of our messy workspace and easily accessible. The tables are looking kind of messy. We got ink on the tables. Good thing is that this is water-based ink. It comes off with a sponge. Rosie, Hi, I'm her favorite student. Rosie really wants to be in the video. And you might be wondering, how are we going to get this all cleaned up and get to the next class on time? All right, so we're cleaning up and uh, we're putting our folders back in the box with any dry prints that we didn't get to today. And students are seated. They have reset their tables the way they found them with two clean inking trays, 
and four clean brayers. Inks are nicely organized. Everything's been dried and reset. And I think you guys get 10 cleanup points today. This is my way of in giving them some incentive for doing good cleanup. They get a prize if they get continuous good cleanup. All right, you guys, I think you're done. Put up your stools and have a great day. Another successful day of printing. And oh boy, is this gonna be fun to unload in the morning. Thanks for watching. I have to add one thing that I didn't mention previously. Um, not all our teachers are going to agree with me on this, but I actually wash the tools myself. This is because I want the kids to have as much printing time as they can, and with a class length of 47 minutes, it's really difficult to get everybody through the sinks and have the tools washed to my standards of cleanliness. So I wash them, I set them over here, the kids dry them and reset them on the table. They do wash their own printing plate, however. How's that coming along, Catherine? Good. Good. This is water-based speedball ink. Washes really easily with soap and water. Thank you for watching, everybody. This was kind of a quick overview of what printmaking is like with middle schoolers in the art room. Um, you can see finished examples and more detailed descriptions of this project on my website. Uh, look at the link at the bottom of the page and select Mixed Media Collage Prints from the Student Work uh, drop-down tab. Thank you.